My name is Autumn and I'm the Digital Services Specialist for York County Libraries. In this short video, I'll be explaining one of the interesting features within the Beanstack website, the Wishlist and Book Recommendation Tool. This feature really allows you to customize your search for new books based on your interests and likes, while also letting you explore some of the books directly within our library's collections. So stay tuned for this brief demonstration. So this is the public view of Beanstack, and on this page, you'll be able to see anything that has um, all of the reader's information, their challenge information. But one of the cool features that we have is the wish list tool. So you can add items to a wish list based on your interests, your likes, but you can also go in and click the find books tool, and it finds books within your within York County Library's collection from Spark. So if you click choose filters it's right now filtering just to books because this were um group uh, i'm viewing betsy and betsy is listed as a four-year-old so in here you can go in and check off any of the recommended age so if your four-year-old is at a six-year-old reading level you can go in and adjust it based on reading level and you can scroll through these filters and you can adjust favorite genres so if they have an interest in fantasy or um, mystery and suspense, you can go in and really customize your filters to get a whole new list of items and books that are actually within our catalog. So if you're going through and you're filtering to these items, scrolling through, you can then go in and hide your filters and you can view the full list of anything that might be in our collection based on the filters you assigned. So if you click on any one of these titles, it will then open the books page with all the information based on the information you've put in. So it recognizes, oh, you said six to eight, here's what this is. So if you wanted to get the book, it then opens a handy little tab within Spark of this particular title. So it'll show you, oh, we have one copy at the library. It's at Gladfelder and you can either place a hold on it, you can um, go pick it up at the library yourself. And it's really nice because it opens within our collection on Spark. So I will quick go, go back to the rules of the house. But if you wanted to add this book to your wish list because you really like the title, you think this looks interesting, it'll actually save a wish list directly within your Beanstack account. So if I click add to wish list, it then asks you, hey, do you wanna add this? And then you can tell it whose account you wanna save to and you click the save button and it will then show you the item has been added successfully to your wish list. So if you wanted to go view your wish list, you can click on your wish list button in the top right corner and you'll now see that the book itself has been added to your wish list. So if you are also wanting to find additional books again, just do that find books tool and you can go in and search again based on different filters so one other thing i wanted to mention is based on if you have different filters or however you assign it you can actually even print the list off yourself so if you wanted to walk into the library with the particular filters so if you only want the books of comedy and oops, comedy and adventure and then you can only say your interest is also in the arts. The more you filter, you'll notice your um, your results get even more customized as you are filtering on the right hand side. So if I am happy with these and let's say I want to make sure the age range is only for three, four and five, it then is customizing it as I go along. So when I'm happy with these filters and I just want this full list, I want to walk into the library and see what I can find here. If I click hide filters, I can then click print this list and then it will, it will show me the full list of these particular titles. It will only show you what page you're viewing. So just bear that in mind whenever you're printing out your list. So if I change this one started with noisy night and ended with the three pigs. But if I click, click the next page or, or the second page based on my filters and then click print this list, it will only show me that one title that was on page two. But other than that, you can then go in and customize and print your list off and build a whole new collection of book recommendations for yourself based on the titles we have within our library.